is nothing more dramatic than a test flight and nothing more serious. November 280, Charlie Juliet stands at the forefront of history for, for Cirrus design and for a burgeoning jet program and a burgeoning jet industry. Come along with Aero News as we watch the flight of the Cirrus jet. The excitement just continues to build and build and build. I had one of our team say to me this morning, ask me if I was excited. And I said, yeah, I'm so excited. I wish I was home under the bed. And somebody would just call and tell me when it's over. <laughs> you know, you, sometimes you can only stand so much excitement. But yeah, it's a fantastic feeling. Oh, I had tingles and butterflies and, and felt extremely proud. I really did. I just, the bunch of us really accomplished something, uh, getting this together in a little over nine months. Well, obviously uh, butterflies, but I kind of felt like a 10-year-old boy on a roller coaster for the first time. I've, I've gone through all the emotions, including a few tears and uh, cheers, and right now I feel just relaxed and comfortable, excited. It was a perfect day, perfect flight. I couldn't be happier. Incredibly elated. But hard work pays off over time, that's for sure. And today, the uh, you can turn dreams into reality, and it's just a matter of deciding to do it. That's what we've learned today. Incredible. Today, there is an affordable, high-performance, easy-to-own, and easy-to-operate very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin-engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500, the jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly, and fun to own. The jet for you. Tim, first of all, congratulations on an outstanding first flight. Hey, thanks, Jim. Can you tell us a little bit about the profile you flew, what you learned from flight one? Sure. The uh, profile we do is a uh, typical first flight profile. Um, take off, evaluate the uh, climb performance, mechanical characteristics of the flight control system, the uh, basic stability and control of the airplane and configuration PA, and uh, then we uh, <clears throat> just did some ba very basic uh, flying qualities tasks, uh, open loop and closed loop, uh, practiced a uh, few approaches, uh, wave offs, and uh, came in for a landing. Our flight mission was about an hour is what we planned, and as Tim Berg says, he says it very well, um, we have two objectives, take off and land. Everything else is gravy in between, but we did quite a bit of gravy. We went up to 10,000 feet, then he did some uh, steady heady kind of thing, maneuvers. He did a little bit of uh, stick bumps, did a little throttle maneuvers just to see what was going on there. The goal of our fir this first flight was a safe uh, takeoff and landing in a, a brand new airplane with uh, many developmental systems and uh, we accomplished that. The team performed flawlessly. The uh, airplane handled just as we thought it would, which with no surprises. The whole event went uh, as planned, which is how test pilots like it to happen. 
when we set out to do the prototype, it was uh, strictly to be a, a, an aeronautical experiment to see if the V-tail and the single engine and the vectored thrust and all of those uh, unique features of, of this airplane was going to pan out for us. But uh, instead, instead of just doing that, we were able to put a lot of systems on board. We have operational air conditioning. Uh, it's not pressurized, but ECS obviously is working. And uh, you know, it, it's just it has a lot more design thought going into this prototype. I've never seen one. Uh, in our history uh, so complete on first flight. So, so a lot of hard work to go, there's no doubt about that, but I'm feeling pretty good about where we sit today. Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly, or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. I was actually thinking about Winston Churchill's quote this morning of, you know, this is not the end and this is not the beginning of the end, but this is the end of the beginning. This is, this is just the end of the first part. And in front of that is detailed design, a lot of testing, a lot of work, certification, working with the FAA and other worldwide authorities to get the thing into production. As I often remind people, and not just about R&D programs, but this comes down to you know day-to-day -day scheduling on, on current SR-22 production is, it isn't done until the customer takes delivery, and then he'd better be happy. You know, so that's the definition of done. So we've got a long ways to go before we're done, meaning delivering this jet to customers. I mean, I, got, I had some butterflies, but at the same time, um I don't know, I hate to say this, but I just think about the rest of the work. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's gratifying, but uh, yeah, exciting and relieving, I think. <laughs> Big relief to see it fly away and come back safely. That's the most important thing is the safety aspect. Now, as I understand, you're going to try to bring the aircraft to Oshkosh. What's the schedule between now and then look like? Well, we have a methodical flight test plan uh, scratched out, and we're going to uh, hope, hope for good weather and uh, hope that we don't run into any uh, showstoppers. Uh, developing airplanes like this, uh, you know, it's a, it's a very challenging uh, environment, a challenging situation. We don't, we can't make any promises, but uh, hopefully, if things went as smoothly as they did today, uh, we don't see any problem with it. So, uh, I guess I'm asking the world to cross their fingers for us, and, and uh, if things go well, we'll be there. We wish you the best of luck. Thanks, Jim. Appreciate it.